In this video, I'll show you three examples on how to solve exponential equations without logarithms. This is part two of the series. The question reads, solve the following. We'll start with A. In question A, we have on the left side, two to the power of two times x minus five. And on the right side, we have four to the power of three x minus one. To do this, we need to make this base and this base the same. We can make the base four into two if we convert four into two to the power of two. Let me show you what I mean. Two to the power of two x minus five. This part hasn't changed. The left side hasn't changed. And on the right side, this four will become two to the power of two. So that four has become two to the power of two. And the three x minus one has not changed. Three x minus one. Now remember, the power of a power rule from the law of exponents tells us that if you have a power to a power, these two will multiply together. So technically what we have right now is 2 to the power of 2x minus 5. Once again, this hasn't changed. And on the right side, we have 2 to the power of 2 bracket 3x minus 1. Notice that the bases here are the same. And just like in part 1, when the bases were the same, you can make the exponents equal to each other. And by making the exponents equal to each other, we can eventually solve for x. So let's do this. The exponents are 2 bracket x minus 5, and this one is 2 bracket 3x minus 1. So now our task is to solve for x. Notice that there's a 2 on this side and a 2 on this side, so we can cancel that out. And we're left with x minus 5 is equal to 3x minus 1. Solving for x, we'd have to bring all the x terms to one side. So we have x minus 3x. I brought this over. And on the right side, we have negative 1. Bringing this over, we have plus 5. x minus 3x gives us negative 2x. And on the right side, we have positive 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4 divided by negative 2, which is equal to negative 2. Negative 2 is the solution to our equation. Let's move on to question B. In question B, we have 5 to the power of 2, x minus 5, and then 25 to the power of x minus 1. We have to somehow make this 125 to a base of 5. And that's not so hard to do. 125 can be converted into 5 to the power of 3. So we have 5 to the power of 2, x minus 5. That stays the same. 5 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1. These will multiply together because of the power of a power rule. I'm going to write down the next step right here. 5 to the power of 2 bracket x minus 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 3 bracket x minus 1. So now, since the bases are the same, we can make the exponents equal to each other. So let's do that right here. 2x minus 10, that's this part, expanded, is equal to 3x minus 3. Now this is a simple first degree equation. We're going to bring all the x terms to one side and all the constants to one side. So we have 2x minus 3x is equal to this negative 3 plus 10. Notice that this became plus 10 because I moved it over to the other side. And so we're left with on the left side, negative x is equal to negative 7. We have a negative on both sides, therefore x is equal to positive 7. The negatives cancel out. Now finally, we're going to use the same technique for c. Notice that the base here is a 3 and the base here is a 27. We need to make 27 into the base 3. That's not so hard to do. 3 to the power of 3 gives us 27. So we're left with... 3 to the power of 5x plus 8 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 bracket x. These two combine to form 3x. Now, our next step is to solve for the exponents. 5x plus 8 is equal to 3x. Bring this over. 5x minus 3x is equal to negative 8. I also brought this over. And now we are left with 2x is equal to negative 8. 
and therefore x is equal to negative 4. I divide both sides by 2, and that gives me x is equal to negative 4. And that is how to solve exponential equations without both a calculator and the usage of logarithms. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.